Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So, after Canelo Alvarez's comprehensive unanimous decision over Callum Smith, who should he fight next? What route is Canelo Alvarez going to go down? Well, according to Canelo Alvarez, he wants to fight three times in 2021. And actually, there's been talk over Canelo fighting Avni Yildirim in February. Now, Avni Yildirim is actually the WBC mandatory at 168. God knows how. I mean, I just hate the thought of that fight. We know the result going in. Avni Yildirim is going to get smashed to pieces. You know, this was a guy who made Chris Eubank Jr. look like a prime Marvin Hagler. So, Avni Yildirim, to me, that fight holds no interest whatsoever. But if Canelo is going to fight three times in 2021... If he could get that fight out of the way early, maybe in February, then we can look at Canelo's next serious opponent, more than likely in May. Obviously, historically, Canelo likes to fight on the uh, Mexican national holidays in May or September. So yeah, if you're going to fight Avni Yildirim, don't mess around, don't, don't long it out, just fight this guy in February, and then have your usual May and September dates. But in regards to Canelo's next serious opponent, there are a few names being banded around, and I'm going to start with Gennady Golovkin. Now, listen, a lot of people out there are saying they've got no interest in a third fight with Gennady Golovkin. We've seen it twice before, why see it again? I actually totally disagree with that narrative. Um, if you look at Canelo's recent fights, uh, Rocky Fielding, uh, Sergei Kovalev, Daniel Jacobs, uh, Callum Smith... Look at all of these guys post the Gennady Golovkin fights. None of these guys he's fought have really gone in there and implemented their game plans or ruffled any feathers. They've not, they've not rattled any cages. All of these guys, to me, Danny Jacobs, Sergey Kovalev, Callum Smith, they've all been duds as far as I'm concerned. Whereas Gennady Golovkin, both times he fought Canelo, you know, first time he clearly beat him. And in the second fight, it was razor close. There are a lot of people out there who believe Gennady Golovkin beat Canelo both times. One thing is for certain, Canelo has never clearly beaten Gennady Golovkin. Gennady Golovkin's taken him to the brink and more in these two fights. So to say Gennady Golovkin, you know, doesn't deserve a third Canelo fight, or it's not interesting, I'm not sure what you're basing that on, considering what we've seen Canelo in with post Gennady Golovkin. Um, to be honest. So for me, Gennady Golovkin is still one of the most interesting options out there for Canelo. Maybe the most interesting, who knows, but I certainly would like to see him fight Canelo again. Judging on what not aside, the first two fights were really entertaining, and why not make that third fight for May, you know, while Golovkin still has something left. I think that'd be a good fight. Um, if it's not Gennady Golovkin, the next guy on my list would be David Benavidez. Again, he's far more unproven than a lot of the guys I'm going to mention, but David Benavidez brings a unique style. He's aggressive, he's big, he throws a lot of punches, and he seems to carry genuine punching power. He doesn't strike me as one of those guys who's going to go in there and lie down for Canelo. I couldn't see Benavidez going in there as a hot-headed 23-year-old, and I couldn't see him going in there and giving Canelo Alvarez all of his respect that guys like Sergey Kovalev showed him, or, or Danny Jacobs or Callum Smith showed him. I couldn't see David Benavidez doing that. I think Benavidez will try and get it. You know, he'll try and apply pressure, try and, try and fight his fight. Again, whether it's en enough or not, I'm not sure. But I think David Benavidez would make for a fun fight. Plus it's a fight between two Mexican fighters. I'm sure in regards to the business sense, that fight would do very well. And it's an intriguing matchup, uh, Canelo versus David Benavidez as far as I'm concerned. So to me, David Benavidez would be a very attractive uh, opponent for Canelo Alvarez. Um, to me, Benavidez and Golovkin are the fights I would like to see next from Canelo. When I say next, I'm talking about, you know, Canelo's next major fight date. I'm not really talking about this Avni Yildirim thing, um, because maybe that fight happens in February, like I said. But, yeah, Canelo's next serious fight date, to me, the most attractive options are Gennady Golovkin and David Benavidez. And maybe I would actually throw in Jamal Charlo in there, um, to be honest. Uh, boxer puncher, he's a, fair, he's a fairly big guy. I don't, I don't really believe it will hurt Jamal Charlo going to 168. I think he'll go in there you know, try his best, he'll try and take Canelo's head off, but I think stylistically, Jamal Charlo doesn't pose the same questions that Golovkin does, or David Benavidez does, but you know, Jamal Charlo himself would also be a fairly interesting option for Canelo Alvarez, and the other two options would be Caleb Plants and Billy Joe Saunders. Now, 
these fights more than likely do make a lot of sense because both guys are champions and it would give Canelo an opportunity to unify at 168. So Kayla Plant, Billy Joe Saunders, they are certainly not bad opponents as far as I'm concerned. They would obviously be unification fights. However, I am less intrigued about Billy Joe and Kayla Plant fighting Canelo. There's something about those guys I just, I just don't trust in that sort of big fight scenario. Neither guy is a particularly big puncher. Uh, both guys are more of the boxer type. And I believe with those two guys, I said this in my post-fight thoughts video, but I believe with Billy Joe Saunders and Kayla Plant, they're not going to be boxing to try and outbox Canelo. They're just going to try and box to survive, basically, to try and keep Canelo off of them for, for periods of time. I just don't see these guys being... You know, I don't see these guys taking the initiative against Canelo and really trying to implement their own game plan, their own style. I just see these guys swallowing it against Canelo, I have to say. Maybe I'm totally wrong in regards to that, but for some reason, I just don't trust Billy Joe or Kayla Plant going into a Canelo fight. Especially Billy Joe Saunders, to be honest. But um, yeah, I mean, if those fights were made, I wouldn't be up in arms about it. They are unification fights. Billy Joe and Kayla are pretty good fighters, to be honest. But, you know, they're just not high on my priority list for Canelo Alvarez right now. And uh, the last guy I've heard being mentioned is Demetrius Andrade. And to be honest with you guys, I I've really got no interest in Andrade versus Canelo Alvarez. Quite frankly, I'd rather see Andrade versus Billy Joe Saunders. Andrade, to me, just isn't really interesting. He doesn't really... Put to me, he doesn't really... I, I can't see what he does against Canelo Alvarez. I think Demetrius Andrade is vastly overrated, um, technically. I think he's sloppy with his offense, and he, he doesn't have what it takes to beat Canelo. I can tell you that now with, with Demetrius Andrade. No way in hell does Andrade trouble Canelo. I, I just don't see it. Andrade, for me, would be a no-go. To be honest, I, I really wouldn't like that fight. Um, just not for me. I, I don't see Andrade doing anything against Canelo. So, ultimately... If we're looking at Canelo's next big fight opponent, again, not including the Avni Ildrum fight, but if we're looking at Canelo's next big opponents, my priorities would be either Gennady Golovkin or David Benavidez, maybe a step below that, Adriel Charlo. You know, those are the sort of fights I would really like to see from Canelo Alvarez in his next fight. Billy Joe Saunders and Caleb Plant are cool, but for, some, for whatever reason, those fights just don't really excite me all that much. Uh, I think Gennady Golovkin and David Benavidez, those are the fights that really excite me uh, for Canelo Alvarez. And again, people can say what they want about Gennady Golovkin, a third fight. But again, you know, when you look at Canelo Alvarez, since he's been like a pound-for-pound -pound level fighter, which guy's given Canelo the most problems? It's Gennady Golovkin in both fights. Beat him the first fight, in most people's opinion, and the second fight was very close. Canelo's never, cl Canelo's never clearly beaten G uh, Gennady Golovkin, so why not have a third fight? Um, that's just my opinion anyway uh, share your thoughts below who do you want to see Canelo fight next I'd like to hear your thoughts peace